So we have some major updates when it comes to the debt ceiling, but also social security. And today I specifically want to talk about social security because I keep getting a lot of questions. One of the main questions I'm getting is, will social security still be around in the next year? Next question I get quite a bit is, will we see cuts to social security? And there's actually two answers. One answer is yes. The other answer is no. Will you see your benefits get cut? The answer is no. Will Social Security in general get cut? The answer is actually yes. I want to address what's going on here, but first, some good news. Look at this. So right here it says, McCarthy says debt ceiling deal possible this week after talks with Biden. Now, what does this mean? Well, one of the big question marks as of right now is whether or not we see lawmakers agree to increase the debt ceiling. This is what Speaker Kevin McCarthy and President Biden are currently negotiating. And according to Speaker Kevin McCarthy, he does say that yes, it's quite possible that a deal happens this week. If that's the case, that's great news. Here's the other piece of good news. Right now, many lawmakers are questioning whether or not we should see cuts and where should we see the cuts? Should they come from defense spending? Could they come from border security? Could they come from social programs like Medicaid and SNAP benefits and things like that? Well, that's where all these question marks start to arise. Here's the reason why Social Security is being looked at. Look at this right here. It says, the GOP proposal to raise the debt ceiling would force Americans on Social Security and Medicare to wait longer to receive help and make college more expensive, the White House says. Well, what do they mean? What do they mean by this and how would this actually increase costs? Well, look at this. It says the Office of Management and Budget released a memo outlining the impacts of the GOP debt ceiling plan. And if you don't remember what this was, this was a plan that was passed by the House of Representatives a couple weeks ago. This was never going to pass through the Senate. And so this is what Speaker Kevin McCarthy and President Biden are currently debating is where are Republicans at? Where's the GOP? And where's President Biden at? And how can we figure out where there's some middle ground? So that's currently where we're at right now. This is, is from Business Insider. It says, under various scenarios, the, of, the Office of Management and, Biz, and Budget um, estimated federal programs could be cut by 30%. That would include worse customer service times uh, for Americans receiving Medicare and Social Security. And we're going to read a little bit of this article because I want to want you to understand kind of where things are at. But here's where things are at right now. Look at this. So this right here is actually from Shalanda Young. She's the the uh, you know administrator for the the OMB. Anyway, it says while Young noted that the GOP bill doesn't include a line by line breakdown of exactly how cuts would be implemented, she says. Uh, she lays out a few scenarios. So first, if Republicans leave defense funding, veterans affairs, and homeland security untouched, everything else would have to be cut by 30%. She also goes on to say that would mean people waiting for disability benefits through Social Security might face wait times of at least two months longer, and those seeking help through Social Security and Medicare offices would experience worse customer service. Now, what does this mean? Well, let me just break this down because from what many people have sent me, and again, one of the biggest questions, one of the biggest question marks that I've gotten lately is, are we going to experience default? Are we going to see our payments stop? Because according to this article, and this is what has many people freaked out, is this line right here. That could mean people waiting for disability benefits through Social Security might face wait times of at least two months longer. Now, what do you mean by two months longer? Well, it's actually pretty simple. Let's say you are going to get benefits and it takes you, let's say, two to three months to actually qualify, get approved and start to receive your check, right? Two to three months. Well, what's happening in this instance is it's taking about two months longer. So if this gets approved, it would mean it would take you about four to five months to actually receive your benefits. Well, why is this? Well, the reason for this is actually pretty simple. One of the things that they're looking at doing right now 
is to revert spending back from not 2023 levels, but in 2024, what the GOP plan is proposing is to revert that spending back to 2022 levels. So going back pretty much two years, this would see a cut of about 23% in funding. This means right now where Social Security or the Social Security Administration is currently struggling to get any funding and to open up offices and hire additional uh, customer service reps. Well, guess what? If they can't hire more and they actually have to lay off employees because they're seeing a reduction in expenses or a reduction in, uh, in uh, funding, right? Which would mean they have to reduce expenses as well. Well, the problem there is if they currently have a backlog, this is only gonna make it worse. This is only going to make it worse, okay? I wanna read you this as well. Uh, this is from the same person, Shalanda Young. She says, those cuts would be incredibly damaging, self-defeating and unpopular. If House Republicans choose not to cut funding for military, veterans, medical care, and border security, then their cuts to everything else must get even deeper. This is true. If they make cuts, these cuts are going to hurt millions and millions of people for Medicaid, for SNAP, okay, for Social Security. We are going to see all the other programs that the government is currently spending money on, they're going to see cuts. 30% okay? cuts, maybe 17%, possibly go down to 9%. But in order to see 9% cuts across the board, that means military spending would have to see cuts. We'd have to also see cuts to uh, Veterans Affairs and other things like that. So again, it's not a popular situation to be in. And this is why some lawmakers do not want to vote for this next year. And that's what's in the, the GOP House proposal is let's have a short term debt ceiling uh, you know, increase. Let's increase it by I think one point, was it $1.2 trillion or something like that. And it would extend until March of 2024. So that's what I can tell you this time. There's a lot of discussions happening right now, but the big question mark is, do they get the deal done before June 1st? And as always, as I get more information, I promise I will fill you in on all the latest news and updates. All you gotta do is two things. First off, hit that like button on this video. Also click that subscribe button and you will never miss an update.